And the Minister of Communication, Esla Owusu, has stated that some telcos in the country have under declared their revenue between 2015 and 2017 with over 300 million CDs. This is an issue that's generated a lot of conversation in the country and I have been joined by Mr. Joe Jackson to help us have a conversation about this. But before that, let's take this story and we'll come back to him and have a conversation on it. The common platform has four main components, thus fraud management, traffic monitoring, revenue assurance and mobile money monitoring. The minister said the common platform has resulted in more value and less cost to the state as it offers real-time monitoring of 2.5 billion transactions per day within the telecom sector. Esla Usuekufu maintained the introduction of the common platform has resulted in savings of $1.1 million monthly over the previous contracts. Uva and Afriwe were paying in excess of $2.5 million to both NCA and GRE. The common platform cost us $1.4 million a month for both agencies. For the fraud management component, she noted Simbox fraud has been kept since 2018 and made tax savings of over $205.6 million due to the state-of-the-art fraud management system known as Telecorp. It originates 150,000 international calls into Ghana every month to detect fraudulent SIMS cards being used to generate those calls. Again, she said regarding mobile money monitoring, the platform has recorded an average monthly usage of 29.1 billion cities with 195.8 million transactions. She disclosed 71 million cities is generated by the operators in transaction fees monthly and wondered why it is not being taxed. I'm interested in the revenues that the mobile network operators earn from the transaction fees that all users of the service pay to them. And I think the GRE ought to be having a conversation with them about that. She insisted the introduction of the common platform being run by Kelney GVG has uncovered that prior to its introduction, some 300 million cities in taxes was lost to under declarations on the part of the telcos. We analyze communication service tax VAT NHIL and get fund um, declarations to GRE from 2015 to date and notice that um, Prior to the announcement of the establishment of a common platform in 2017, March, there had been significant fluctuations in, and differences in the declarations made for VAT and CST. That information is made available to GRE and they carry on the conversations with the network operators. Government commenced the monitoring of the activities of telcos after the establishment of the common platform according to section 14 of the communication service tax at 2008 act 754 as amended by the communication service tax at 2013 act 864.